Okay, we're back, part two. Uh, the man who sold me these records for thirty dollars also had a bunch of single cassettes. I always check them out because sometimes you might find some interesting bonus tracks. Uh, this one doesn't have any bonus tracks. The bo both tracks are on the album, but uh, at twenty-five offer twenty-five cents for a figure of eight by Paul McCartney. It has a weird today on the other side. But both are from Flowers in the Dirt, but I mean it's pretty unusual. Uh, I don't, I'm not into cassettes that much, but single cassettes, I, I'm keeping an eye open for them because sometimes you don't know what. And he had a stern table which I don't care much for because it's a, it's just a crappy, um, well, crappy. It's a, a regular uh, belt drive, doesn't have any pitch control, but it has the uh, uh, original Technics needle on it. I've checked it out with my my, my trusty finger. Looks pretty good, so I'm probably going to. Uh, I'll have to check it out. I don't know if I'm going to keep the turntable, but uh, I bought it for five dollars for the needle. I, I like original used needles when they're good original needles. They are better than brand new crappy needles. Uh, so uh, at this point, I had to leave the stack of records uh, and the turntable to the man. I said I'm going to, to. When I'm done circling the place, I'm going to approach, the, get the car ready, and, and get the stuff. Uh, car closer and, and uh, nothing got stolen so I'm glad then I moved on and found uh, after the, oh yeah this uh, oh sorry for the crap on the top this uh, Sony uh, VHS my dad uses uh, VCRs in the, in the living room two of them and uh, VHS VCR and this one is a SLV 678 HF Sony when Sony used to make their own uh, VCRs <laughs> and uh, that didn't have the remote which sucks so I offered five bucks and uh, she said okay. I took a chance and I hadn't tested it yet. See, is mo most Sony VCRs will work with the same remote, so uh, I took a chance. Um, probably a good purchase if it works. If not, I also only five dollars. Then I'm going to present to you the best purchase of the day because I'm going in chronological order. I'm not keeping a climax for the end. I saw this. It's a sheepdog. Cute. Cute. Nice sheepdog. So I, I tell the lady, too bad it's not a puppet. And she says, oh, but yeah, it is. And she puts her hand inside and goes, mm. and I'm, no way. And I take it and I check it out. And how much do you want for this? And, and I'm thinking, okay, how much, uh, what's my maximum for this thing? And I'm going, oh, 10, 15 dollars. And she says, five bucks, sold. And from the from then on, from that table to the the, the rest of the uh, the big garage shell, my puppet came alive, and I was like sniffing kids and people going, "Oh, he looks alive!" and "Oh my God!" and I was while well, I was looking at the stuff on the floor and on the tables, the dog had a life of his own. Like it's very easy for me to to to, to do puppeting because uh, I studied animation, film animation, and it's, the, it's acting. So having to act every single frame of fraction of second drawing by drawing you do it live with a, with your hand so it's very easy for me this is my favorite purchase five dollars it's an original folk madness i only checked when i took it out of the car i thought is it a folk madness and yes it is folk madness do you know how much this retails for because by the way this is on their website right now this model she dog puppet this is retailed 43.99 Plus, more or less ten dollars if you want to, to get a chip to Canada, or if you buy it at a store at Carrefour Laval near the Sears. There's a toy store. This thing would be uh, probably around the same price, plus 14 percent tax, more or less, coming close to 50 bucks. And I got it for five bucks. And get this, I was planning on buying a folk manis puppet. I was just waiting to, for them for the for the store to have one that had a, a mouth that could be moved easily. And thank goodness I haven't bought one yet, and I bought this one at five bucks. That's my favorite purchase of the day. And believe me, there's some cool stuff coming up. Okay, so that's the five dollars sheepdog fold minus. Uh, oh yeah, was a box of records were a dollar each. No. A lot of uh, foreign stuff. Uh, these were immigrants and uh, classical garbage. And then bang, this Tio Vanis Bad Bye Boy. This is a disco album from 1979 on, on Prelude Record. Prelude Record is the record label that issued uh, In the Bush by Music. And uh, this looks sealed. And I already have a copy that I bought for 49 cents at Discus many, many years ago in the year 80s. And I, I played this thing to death. Uh, uh, it's a good, especially a si side one. Hell, side one, I played all three songs As Long As It's Love, Sentimentally It's You, and Love Me Now. Really, really good disco song except that in Love Me Now he screams too much That's a, a bit annoying after a while it's a great record great disco record and uh, 
She, I offered 50 cents, she said yes, and then her husband started yelling, no, we should have at least 75, I buy a dollar. I was pulling out my two quarters, uh, too bad. Uh, but I've explained, oh, it's, it's probably only worth that, because that's how much I paid for it back then, it was from discus. Of course, it's a disco album, this is 2011, disco records are going up in value. I'm not sure if all of them are, but anyway, I'm very glad I got this one for 50 cents. Then I, my telephone is, not, is starting to, to not work very well, so I got this uh, Norton Telecom uh, used phone and uh, for two dollars, so this is really good. And uh, after the phone, after the phone, after the phone, 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 sorry, I keep losing track. Uh, sheepdog, telephone, yeah, yeah, a guy had a whole bunch of uh, buttons, um, we call them macaron in French, and I, di I didn't have time to check them all. I only checked the, the top and I saw this one of uh, Hôpital Saint Justine. This is for my friend from Ontario who's coming. Uh, uh, sorry if I keep calling him my friend from Ontario. It's the, I don't know if, I'm a, if I should say his real name and I forgot his uh, uh, YouTube name. Sorry about that. Put it in the comment. Anyway, he loves UP so I, he might have had it already, but anyway, took a chance. Then uh, that's the button. Then I got for four dollars I got eight LPs at fifty cents. Yeah, so it's those records here. Sly and the Family Stone greatest hits. It's pretty good. The only Beatles. Uh, uh, it's in great shape. It's it's a late issues issue, late late seventies issue, but it's it's so clean I had to t to pick it up. This is uh, Prince. I don't have this one. I don't know the title. Uh, of course, he has to make everything complicated. What an asshole! He has a name that you can't pronounce. Then he has albums with no freaking title. Uh, I don't have time to what to see what this says. Anyway, looks good. Uh, a Jimmy Smith, the cat. I have it already, but I didn't remember remember if my copy was in good shape or not. So ici c'est Raymond Lévesque. J'ai déjà deux copies de de ce disque, mais ça c'est une réédition. Uh, un excellent état. Fallait que je le prenne. Herbal Pert and the Tijuana Brass Volume 2. I took it just because I never see this this particular album. Uh, ici c'est une compilation en français. Uh, Claude François de Lido Michel Polnareff. Je l'ai plus parce qu'il y a des tonnes de Michel Polnareff dessus. Mais les stickers ici sont vraiment cool. O'Keefe, North American Singles Festival. Oh, Festival des Célibataires de l'Amérique du Nord. And this sticker is really cool. It's it says Montréal Matin. Uh, a newspaper that doesn't exist in, in, in uh, Montreal anymore. And uh, radio station CKAC 73 I remember the slogan I used to hear on the radio so the sticker is almost cooler than the record and I have this already the Holly's Grace Hits but my cover is in bad shape this one is, is a cleaner shape and it's a great album 50 cents is good and uh, so that's um, that, that takes care of that Paul uh, and it takes care of this location then I went uh, to a, a single uh, uh, a garage shell at one house and it was a bunch of toys so I'm about to do a U-turn and then I spot a DVD player and I said what brand is that? I get the car closer, I think it is it's what I'm looking for, I get up and yes it's a Pioneer, I've been looking and never, not success, I, I've been having a hard time finding a Pioneer DVD player in, a, in the art sales, I see them very often and they're cheap but see I have three DVD uh, recorders, uh, Pioneer DVD recorders and you know how finicky it can be when you try to play your homemade DVDs on, on different brands of players and sometimes they're, they don't play them uh, properly so I wanted to have a, a Pioneer player for my anyway you get the picture so I wanted to offer 10 bucks and she said well I wanted 20 so I I was asking 15 so I said at that price I have to test it so I plugged it in I checked if the door was opening and closing and the remote is here, she didn't have the instructions book but it's, whew, it's pretty simple so I paid t $15 and that's the most I paid for one item today 15 bucks for Pioneer DVD. I was looking for one for, for a while so that's pretty good then at uh, another uh, church charity bazaar, no, no it was a collective yard sale in front of a church uh, everything was, a lot of people, it was a new bazaar, first year they ever done it unfortunately it was all new stuff and recent uh, knickknacks and uh, toys and, and recent toys and, and clothing for kids, nothing for me and then at the very last second I check up a stack of CDs and then I find this the Beach Boys uh, Christmas album, I don't have this on vinyl but I'm really glad to have the CD 12 track CD here, I know there's a an upgraded version but this is the 12 track version released in 1988 perfect I wanted to have this and then a little bit further in the box yes 
Beach Boys today and there's like 29 tracks on this thing because a very very thick booklet because there's two albums on this thing and look at this this beautiful CD that reproduced the uh, <laughs> the singles uh, label it's pretty cool I like this so I th and this it's the first time I make a sign and purchase the lady was on her s cell phone so I have my CDs I want to pay and get the hell out of there so I, I decide that I take two uh, loonies out Do, those are one dollar coins and I show them the coins and she nods and I give them the coins and I leave without saying a word it was really funny just a little uh, detail I wanted to mention okay so those are the CDs uh, and then I left that bazaar and I, I went to another church the, the Saint Leopold church in, in Fabreville and by a whole lot like a lot of stuff not many vinyls at all but a lot of variety variety and then the first thing I bought I was so excited man I was happy Ta -da! the Fisher Price Papa Pal chime phone my my young cousin had this and uh, I used to play every time sh I went to my cousin's place I used to play with it it's really cool the graphics on this side are great this side is not so great and somebody put tape on damage the front sticker but uh, I'll try to fix that later or maybe not and the bag the underneath it, everything is nice 1968 really really cool it's the first time I've been wanting this thing for quite a while and really a big dollar for this so that that was a great find then I found our new switch to French ici j'ai trouvé un petit carton un poster de René et Régis Simard Graciosité des Poudines dans la Socor ça c'est rare en tabarnouche j'ai offert 10 cents puis ils ont demandé 25 cents j'ai dit oh oui tu veux je vais glisser dans un des 10 de René Simard que j'ai fait que ça j'étais pas mal c'est pas mal rare ça ensuite oh oui ça c'est excitant ça this is exciting I saw these Expo Tooks wasn't too excited and then I asked him do you have anything with uh, about the expo I said yes I have a scarf he takes it out it's gorgeous gorgeous scarf I've never seen this this is rare with the expo logo and I'm thinking okay how much mm, three dollars three, three. how much should I pay how much is this he says 50 cents and I go okay if I put this together because this is uh, like a set a dollar for the set he says sure oh my god I mean, Expo stuff is kind of hot here because like, the Expos don't, uh, don't exist anymore here, so I, I, it's retro for me. It's very retro, although I wasn't really much of an Expo fan. I love Expo stuff, with or without UP. <laughs> so that was exciting, a dollar for this. And uh, the same guy sold me... Uh, wait, I lost my I lost track. Oh yeah. Then we had all, all kinds of other stuff. I found this very rare Fisher Price toy from 1973 with a pump here in a box of uh, all kinds of stuff inside the box and I start digging and I found this and it works <coughs> 73 and I got this little felt thing there there's a name for this but I don't know what it is and O Canada is part of a, a, a cardboard game with a spinning uh, uh, arrow and you could play and there was a, a plastic uh, thin record with four songs on it. It was for the, the promotion of a bilingual bill. I oh, cry on. I can't say that word. The bilinguisme, uh, French and English across Canada in the, in the 1970s. Anyway, I have the kit. I have the record, but I don't. I don't think I have this piece here, so I took it from. I got this uh, magnetic uh, pencil case with the uh, Looney Tunes on it. That was pretty cool. And ici j'ai trouvé euh, un cahier de euh, bande dessinée de Goldorak. C'est toujours cool ça, même si je n'étais pas tout à fait un fan de Goldorak. C'est assez trippant de trouver ça. So I got this, 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 and this rare penguin, fresh fresh penguin toy. A whole lot for one dollar. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, and that was a scarf, the other, one dollar. Oh yeah, one dollar for two LPs, 50 cents each. I got, uh, I don't know what pushed me to buy this, but it was in clean shape and sounds spectacular by Ketel. And I got this, ici j'ai trouvé Peggy Arrow, 17 grand succès, il est en très bon état. That's a lot of songs on one single record, it's like a Ketel record, but it's in great shape. And the one I have is in, already is not in good shape, so it was good. Uh, then I got this uh, Pierre Lalonde compact disc. And uh, 
they were expensive they were two bucks so what I like to do is when when the box is broken that's good news because you can say oh look it's broken can I have it for a dollar and said oh, okay <laughs> can replace the box you know very easily so I got this CD for a dollar uh, then second page of stuff uh, on another street Stephanie Street two dollars for 11.5s where are they there they are I got uh, Don't Hold Back by Chanson. I have the album, but not the 45 here. I bought this not so long ago, but it, it sounds like crap. So this one looks look really clean. Murphy's Law by Shady. Early 80s uh, hit. Here I have Ladies Night by Cool and the Gang. Not sure if I have it or not, so I take it. Here, Tony Green, I Am a Fool. An instrumental on the other side. Music de France Gall, ici en tel... Je l'ai déjà. Mais celui-là était tellement clean, je ne pas Pass the Dutchie by Musical Youth. I think my, my copy is scratched up. This one is pretty clean. Carole Coutier by By Love. This is a reissue, and not only is it just a reissue, but it's even on that... that oh, it's not... I think it's vinyl. And, oh, good. Because it's an American pressing, but I don't know if it's vinyl or if it's that stupid... Uh, whatchamacallit... No... Uh, no, those crappy records you have in the States, they're called... Um, I keep forgetting the name of the material. Anyway, who cares? It's a reissue of Great Balls of Fire by Jerry Lee Lewis with You Win Again on, on a reprodu reproduction Sun label. It was pretty cute. So. What's really funny is that I have the original <laughs> thick vinyl, but there was a big radio station stamp on it. And a reissue of Suspicious Minds by Elvis, reissue of Al Shuka by Elvis, and here a reissue with Picture Sleep, Return to Sender. All of this for $2 that, that comes to, uh, well, not much, <laughs> 20 something cents. Actually, uh, less than 20 cents, I think. Uh, that was the those four files. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're almost done. Oh, I'll cut for part three. Yeah, we'll cut for part three.